Hi besties, welcome back. It's time to talk about The Boys. So The Boys is a, such a good show, you guys. It's on Amazon Prime. This is not sponsored, of course. If it was, I would let you know. Um, so The Boys is basic, the basic premise of The Boys is what if superheroes existed, but they were created and controlled by an evil corporation. Um, Honestly, are there any not evil corporations? Let me know if you know any in the comment section below because I want to hear about it. Um, but it's just exactly what you would think. Um, superheroes who are constructed and studied and experimented on and never treated as anything other than a commodity so they don't have compassion or uh, in in many cases some of them have different upbringings like they do get to stay with their parents but the main guy homelander he he was raised in a laboratory so he has no compassion and the guy who plays homelander let me see if i can get to that really fast he is He's crazy good. Um, Anthony, An Anthony, Anthony Starr. And when I see his picture just as himself, he's a very handsome, pleasing looking young man. Probably not that young. But he's from New Zealand. Yeah, he's 44. So he's only like 10 years younger than me. Um, but the way he looks when he's playing Homelander is straight terrifying there is never a moment when he's on screen when i'm not scared that something fucking awful is about to happen and more often than not you're right um he is scary in this role and he does this guy and anthony he does such a good job in this role because it is not a role There's, there are moments, especially like in the first season so far, not, not so much yet, but in the first season, there are moments where you feel compassion for him based on what he's gone through. But then that melts away so quickly when you see what, how he's turned out from it, because, you know, there's lots of kids who go through really hard childhoods and either you come out hard or you come out compassionate and that is largely a choice you make as a human being um and homelander definitely made a choice so at the end of the season you find out that that one of the other main characters at the end of last season i just want to catch you up real fast one of the main characters is named butcher and he is played by one of my personal favorites um Carl Urban and Carl Urban's character has a wife and he hates the soups as he called everyone calls the superhero soups right and he hates the soups because Homelander uh, from what from what Butcher thinks um, he raped and murdered his wife um, but you find out at the end of the season that he didn't so much murder her. Um, she ran away from Butcher once she realized that she was raped and pregnant by Homelander um, because she didn't want to put Butcher through all that. So instead she let him think he was she was dead. Which put him through something else horrible. So he spent all this time, which he would hate, he would hate Homelander anyway, right? Um, Butcher is in charge or is leading this group of ragtag superhero fighters. Um, Frenchie, Mother's Milk, and why is his name not coming to me? Huey. Huey. And Huey gets involved with them when one of the superheroes in the group called the Seven... Um, accidentally kills his girlfriend and it really was an accident but no one was held accountable so 
Huey is understandably upset and it destroys his life and he gets caught up with Butcher and the guys and they go off on a adventure to try to make the soups pay pretty basically and um, at the end of the series of last season we find out that Butcher's wife is alive she has a baby and that baby is Homelander's so that is pretty basically where we open up in the second season. Uh, the, the band of merry men, for lack of a better term, are separated from Butcher and are trying to deal with the aftermath of the first season. Mother's Milk doesn't have his wife and kids. Frenchie started out with not much and so he's just sort of there like trying to figure out what to do next. And Huey is still just distraught over his girlfriend, really on the fence about Butcher. I mean, honestly, the whole first season, he went back and forth with, do I like Butcher or do I hate him? So, um, and one of the soups is a girl who was raised by a mom in a church with sort of Christian values. And she's having a really hard time with being a superhero in this group because she doesn't really like the way that they roll because honestly if it's too tough for them to deal with they just kill everybody they don't give a shit and a couple of them do but mostly they don't they're just like the people are nothing to them they don't care about humanity at all all everything they do is for image and money period it's exactly what you would think superheroes owned by a corporation would be like so um the whole first episode is just sort of settling you into what's going to happen coming up um they are missing a couple of spots on the seven because uh the fish guy called the deep he screwed up his spot um the guy uh who was invisible, I can't think of his name, he's dead. So they need to, to fill some spots. Um, and because at the end of last season, Homelander killed the chick that really sort of, Madeline, the chick that really sort of handled them all, who was brilliantly played by Elizabeth Shue, he is really struggling to figure out how to handle everything going on. He wants to be in charge, and he has got the emotional maturity of a 12-year-old. So when he doesn't get his way, you see it instantly in his face, in his petulance, and in the way that he... The way that his face, you can see it. Like just, there's the set of his jaw, and the, the way that he, he'll look down and then sort of look up with sort of a, a resigned, half pretending I'm happy look. Like I said, this guy is really acting the shit out of this role. So everyone's just figuring out what's gonna be next, okay? In the second episode, you find out where Butcher's been because at the end of the first episode, he finally shows up, okay? And he's all daddy's home with that little sideways grin and cragginess that he's got oh Carl Urban you're in my heart baby boy um which I don't think he's that young right he's got to be like late 40s at the very yeah 48 48 um so totally in the range Carl holler at your girl um so he has just been making his way back to the lads, as he would say. Um, and basically, there's this, there's this guy that everyone's calling a terrorist. And really, he sort of is a terrorist because he wants to destroy America. But with good reason, because the soups have destroyed his life. Him and his sister, who is uh, Kamiko. Kamiko, she's been with the group for a while, with the group of lads for, for a little while. Um, she's got powers, her brother's got powers. They've been in this camp after their parents were murdered and it all has to do with 
this compound V that they've been making the superheroes with. And the V stands for Vought, which is the name of the corporation. Um, so in the third episode, and I'm just, you know, trying to, to bring it down a little bit because we could talk for hours about this show. But in the third episode, um, really everything comes to a head because in the second episode, they get a hold of the terrorist. They're holding him. He's got powers where if his hands are loose, he can use energy to just manipulate anything. And his sister is really strong really strong like she can jump and grab you and break things she's just super strong and um so they're trying to keep him calm but he wants to beat their ass and get away um kamiko his sister doesn't understand why he wants to do what he wants to do she just wants to run away and them have a simple life he's like we can't have a simple life they're not going to let us so He's like, nah, to hell with this. I want out. I'm going to destroy this company or this corporation. I'm going to destroy America and everyone can just be happy. He's really angry and he's not really thinking it through because those two things happening are not going to make everyone happy, right? That's going to cause turmoil of its own. So they're trying to keep him hidden. It's not really working. In the meantime, Homelander's trying to bond with his son. That's not really working. He finally convinces the kid he's got powers by pushing his ass off a roof. So the kid's like, I don't want anything to do with you. I hate you. Go away. Um, so basically what ends up happening in the end of the, of the third episode is that there's this new chick to the group. She's called Stormfront, and she's got some purple lightning. And she will not conform to what anyone wants. No one. Not the PR, not the other team members, and certainly not Homelander. Homelander told them, when you find the, um, the terrorist, he's mine. Well, she finds the terrorist and kills him. The sister doesn't say anything. She wants to, but then when Homelander shows up, she just, like, takes off. And Homelander tells the, the girl Stormfront, hey, I told you he was mine. And she says straight up, you snooze, you, you snooze, you lose, Gramps. He was not happy about that. So I don't know where this is going to lead us into the next episode. The team is gotten away. Um, the superheroes are frazzled. The corporation is frazzled because one of the team members... Starlight is her name. Her name's really Annie. I want to say it's Starlight. Um, she actually betrayed the corporation and gave up the Compound V. And it's all over the news that superheroes are not born. They are made. So the jig is up on that. And the corporation's trying to do get damage control and lying like they do. So this, this show is several groups all sort of working on different ends, clashing together. It's definitely a superhero show, but it's it's so much more than that. There is revenge going on and relationships starting and ending and just so many amazing human interactions happening in this crazy situation that no human has ever experienced. So... I highly recommend The Boys if you've not watched it. It is so great. I've never read the comic or, or graphic novel, whatever it is that it's based on, but um, I would sit down and read it absolutely without question. So maybe I'll go out and look for that one day when there's not a pandemic, or maybe I'll look for it on Amazon or something. <sighs> Let me know if you've been watching The Boys and what you think of it. Um, I know that I did not really do a super great job breaking that down, but it was three whole hours of episodes, so a lot of things happened. It, it was not perfect. Like, there is, first of all, they still make Fresca. Um, the running a boat through a whale thing was crazy. The Jonah and the whale sort of situation, or Pinocchio and the whale, whatever one you want to use, was crazy. Um, there are just moments in this that are so 
like nothing you've ever seen before. So I definitely recommend this show. Go check it out. And we'll come back next week and talk about the next one. Um, I think something else comes out this week. I forget, but there's something else coming out but that I'll be talking about this week as well. And of course, I think I mentioned Bly Manor is going to be out next month. So get ready for that. Guys, thank you for watching. Click all the buttons and we'll see you next time. Bye.